Howdy everybody and welcome to another video with me, I'm Nick and this is London Creative. Given I've got really into crafting over the last few months, thanks to Jazza and Tabletop Time, I've made a few models and reworked a piece or two, and I've also built the tower and that sort of thing. But you would have seen on my shelf and around a little pink haired girl sitting hunched up, and as pretty as she looked, she was pretty much held together by sheer willpower. If I touch her, she, her arms fall off, her hair falls off. And she was pretty and everything, but it was just a meh sort of thing. It didn't really have much say or significance. The helicopter flying overhead. So I thought, I'm gonna change her up a bit. And given my love of 002 in Darling in the Franks, my waifu, I thought I'd try and change her into, into 002. So I have an idea in mind. This is gonna be a Bit of a long-winded project. Stay tuned, see what we end up with. Her arm's falling off and her hair's falling off. I'm trying to get that off, sand that down, make it more of a fringe. Because I don't have the right tools, I'm using bits of the model's hair to make the shape of hair and the grooves and stuff in the milliput. And the problem is that the milliput is starting to dry, so it's starting to do that weird flaky thing. So now it kind of looks more like she's got cat ears and a woolly hat on. Her, her arms didn't fit well, and that's part of the reason why she was falling apart. I've put the milliput over her shoulders and she's looking bad. Now the question I've got is to try and put hair back on that hangs down her back, but she's going to have a wing. That's my plan, because if you know the story, then you, you know. So, what is Darling in the Franks? Well, it's a Japanese anime from 2018, and it's set in a dystopian future where children have been artificially created and indoctrinated solely to defend the remnants of human civilization. The story follows a squad of pilots who pilot mech machines, giant oversized things against Klaxosaurus, alien invaders. And the squad is kind of led by a hero. And when Zero Two, a human hybrid elite pilot, is assigned to this squad, temporarily things start to get strained and heroes intrigued by her but the others don't like her and there's all of this interaction and gradually over time over the entire series things happen and they learn stuff and they learn about themselves and it becomes very involved and they discover emotions and love and so forth. They pilot these giant mech machines in a very sexual way. The boy is termed stamen and the girls are referred to as a pistol. And the boy sits behind the girl holding on to levers that are attached to her hips and he mentally joins with her and they together pilot the ship to destroy the Klaxosaurus. Okay, next stage. <laughs> Okay, we've made a wing, and then we've got to find some 
this way. Okay, next one. We found new hair. Hair's a bit chunky in places, but we should thin it out a bit. Slug wizard took over. I had like five days to make a slug wizard and possibly see my video. If you haven't, it's up there. Then I, I put the wing on this and it did this and it all fell apart. I was very annoyed. I, I lose my temper when I do things like that. This is attempt two. This is quite thick though. You can see how thick it is. Now, the idea being that that's the idea, that's the shape. I want to try and make that into a shape, but I don't know if this is going to work because I'm trying to draw. That's the theory. Now, the thing I've got to do is sand that down and fair it, cut it off without it falling apart. That's not the thing. This could create a lot of dust. First off, I'm going to take the top off of that. Okay, I want to kind of do this if that would work. I've actually used that and glued that into place and it's moulded in. Look, so I've got to do this side. I'm going to stretch that out so it says straight. Here comes the improvised bit. We should use a metal squisher. Oh, it stinks. Just unpack this, so nothing. That we have that. 
most importantly, we have that skeleton colour primer. Okay, so here we are. I've just sanded down the model a little bit and I've got this thing. I've never used one of these, this is a wet palette. So there's one or two millimetres of water there, I don't see. Seems rather a lot there. But... use paint straight out of pot on the grounds of everything was done with oil paint I never realized that you diluted acrylic paint as stupid as that probably sounds that's what happened so my models were thickly painted I was thinking this. many years ago my mates were sitting around and we were talking and I'm probably looking at FHM or something like that and there was a quiz to find your perfect woman, kind of thing. They were going through the questions and, sort of thing, and they went, favorite hair color? And without hesitation, I went pink. But like, just instantly, they just went, there's not even an option. And it always stuck, and it's still now, you can tell. I tend to like girls with pink hair, very definitely. Normal white titanium. Ooh, or a lot of white titanium. Next bit is to dull down this hair. Okay, this is like now day 11 or something because the amount of time it's taking to do each stage. Probably a lot longer than that, it's well over a month. Doing this. I've got some elfin flesh, dark tone. At the moment, I'm just going to do some, some, some pale over the top. And there's a term for this, I can't remember what it's called, where you paint an overhead shadow. So I'm trying to directly paint straight down. She was good, it came out quite well. The one winged version as seen in the titles and if you've seen the anime, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't, go search, look up Darling in the Franks, my favorite anime so far, and most definitely my favorite character. That's my waifu, my crush on an animated character. So I hope you like this and you think this was turned out well. I'm quite pleased with it. The bits were not great, but it's okay, not bad. The wing was a nightmare to do, it kept falling apart and cracking and so forth. So, yes, if you like this and you think it was good, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that it ticks your boxes. Leave me comments down below and I will be back next time. And so if you like this and you want to see more, the next big creation, the next crafting project, or more flow art, or out and about in London, seeing the sights and sounds, or seeing weird exhibitions, or seeing what we can find, then you should be subscribed. So hit the red button down there and come back each week for something new and different 
in London being creative. And until next time, we shall see you soon. Bye. Zero zero two from Darling of the Hell. Just claw my toes. I don't know what that was for, but to be a child screaming for no reason other than because they can. If anything ever happened to those kids down there, no one would ever take any notice because they scream like that at all times.